Bedtime Math is a free initiative aimed at getting parents and kids to do more math. Their mission is to help kids love numbers so that they can handle math in real life. By using fun word problems and challenges meant as bedtime stories, their goal is to make math learning fun. Last year I came across the Bedtime Math book series and I've been having a lot of fun with my daughters who are now almost seven and four and we've been reading them over the last year. They're great because they start with a cute little story. They're always really interesting with the, um, some good visuals. And then it has different levels of math problems. Um, they're all word problems, so they really need to pull out some information. And we've just been having a blast going through some of those stories in the book and have taken some out from Stevens Memorial Library. But then we came across the Bedtime Math app. So it works very similar. There's a, a problem of the day. We can explore the story and then get to the different questions. You can also go back and explore stories from previous years. You can have them surprise you with the lesson. So we've been having a lot of time, um, not just at bedtime, although that is often when we read some bedtime math and do some fun math problems, but throughout the day. And they've also been seeing it at other times of the day. They might be noticing some math problems in context as we go through our day today. So what is bedtime math? As Kara mentioned, it's a book series, but it's also a fun free app for parents to download. There's a wacky new problem each day for three different age levels. Uh, bedtime math is recommended for kids ages three to nine. There are no logins and most importantly, no scores. Uh, kids are just excited to be trying out different math problems. Not only does it bedtime math promote math, but it also promotes literacy. Every single math problem featured on bedtime math and featured inside the bedtime math books is an engaging and thought-provoking couple of paragraphs uh, that might have something to do with fantasy or may have real-life applications. Reading that math problem will promote literacy in our students and will also encourage them to see math in their everyday life. We once. President Hoover had nine pet dogs and two pet crocodiles. Did he have more dogs or crocs? No. What do you think, Emmy? Do you know what's bigger? Nine pet dogs or two pet crocodiles? Nine. What do you think? Do you agree, Zoe? Okay, press the star. And now, in addition to the app, we've mentioned that there are some books that are available through Bedtime Math. Uh, the Stevens Memorial Library owns almost all of those books, so parents are welcome to take uh, use of that resource. Additionally, uh, the Stevens Memorial Library hosts a Crazy Eights Math Club on Thursdays that is affiliated with the Bedtime Math program. So even if you have parents that aren't able to download the app, not to worry, there's still lots of Bedtime Math to be had here in North Amherst. Even though bedtime math is recommended to be done exclusively at home with parents and not assigned as homework, it still can have an impact on student learning in school. The University of Chicago is doing a fairly small study, but with very encouraging results. Bedtime math users in this small study gained three extra months in math skills compared to users who just used a reading app. Now again, this is a small study, but this is very encouraging. Parents have been asking us for ways that they can support math at home, and we thought that this was a fun way to incorporate math and literacy together and have fun with it at home with their children. 